We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. It's game four of the World Series between the Texas Rangers and the St. Louis Cardinals. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, lots of storylines here as we approach the start of Game 4. Well, I can't help but be impressed with the way these guys have come into this series and just flat out handled their business. They're hitting on all cylinders. And I don't want to fully count out the other guys, but if the last three games are any indication of, of how this will play out, I think this series could be over really quick. The buildup to this one is just about over. It's time for all the drama of World Series baseball on the show. And we'll have it for you next. Batting third, the third baseman, Gerald Hayden. Big dog, get your pitch. Go, Here go, comes the go. first pitch. A pitch out. The throw. And even a pitch out can't do the trick. He's in there at second. So he swipes second despite the pitch out. Yeah, it seemed like everyone in the building knew he was going to be running there, right? Didn't make a difference, though. He got a great jump and absolutely burned it down to second to get in safely. The 1-0. The bouncer to the left side. And that's through a base hit. Green isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. The tag, and he's safe. They've taken the lead. Hey, this guy's having a big series in the postseason. It looks like to me that the moment isn't too big for him. He's slowing the game down. He looks terrific. Yeah, absolutely. Postseason monster right here, having a huge series. Any big leaguer can have their moment mid-May, but to do it when it gets cold outside means everything. Hey, let it fly. Let it fly right here. Baby, good runner goes runner, runner, runner. for third swing and a miss strike three the he's throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base so a good job there of taking third unannounced but meanwhile the strikeout means two men are gone like now come on let it rip right here Hayden at third with two away. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Rangers will have to be content with just the one. On now to the bottom of inning number one. It's the Rangers one. The Cardinals coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Into the box now, Gerald Hayden. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, and he's got to feel super confident right now. He's the only real offense in this game. Guys on the mound have been executing every pitch. Fouled off. Hayden is one of the few true superstar hitters in the game. You're no doubt aware of it, but it doesn't matter who he's facing. He's a major league threat to hit the ball hard somewhere just about every time he steps Make into the, turn, the box. Find the ball, find the yeah, ball. one of the best hitters and, and truly blessed by the gods. But I don't think people realize the amount of time and effort this guy has put into honing his craft to become one of the great hitters in our sport. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. Hello. Runner goes for second. That's a strike to throw down. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Some managers treat the postseason as a time to be aggressive, and that's exactly the case here. They had the speed burner on the move, and it worked out nicely for him. Just got to drive him in now. He's going, he's going. Runner's on his way to third. 
Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Rangers lead it one to nothing. Now at the plate, Gerald Hayden. He singled his last time up. Gerald Hayden. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And it's fouled away. One run, five hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. And this will be fouled away. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Lifted the other way out to left center. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. New inning set to get underway. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Gerald Hayden. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long... Hits it high and deep out to center field. Center fielder looking up. Goodbye, home run. So it's a solo shot to dead center. His fourth long ball of this series. And it's a 7-2 game now. Yeah, they have everything to lose in this game. But it's obvious they have zero quit in them. They're going to battle until the last out. And with that homer, they're that much closer to prolonging this series. Bottom of the inning now, and next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Freddy Valdez. Freddy Valdez. Ground to third. Fielded. And a good throw gets him one gone. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. offensive stars and in this one he arguably shined the brightest he's our top player of the game multi-hit game and one of them was a dinger that's a solid day's work for any hitter and it had an impact on the outcome of this game what else can you say and this evening's ends at a 7-2 finish St. Louis avoid elimination to force a game five in this World Series Jack O'Neill is the winning pitcher of record. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.